back with my blog this time in Singapore I find myself here surrounded by impressive buildings impressive infrastructure overall and you know like every time it doesn't cease to amaze me the single question how did Singapore achieve all this I mean think about it Singapore is surrounded by countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia, well China, India, Thailand, countries that are emerging now. But Singapore, in less than 50 years since it was declared a republic, is an advanced, mature market. How did this happen? That's what never ceases to amaze me. And I mean, you know, if you just think about it, in less than 50 years, Singapore is considered the fourth leading financial center in the world. The leading, the leading logistics hub in the world. Has the most advanced military in Southeast Asia. Is considered the most business friendly country in the whole world. And has the best quality of life in all of Asia. Not easy to achieve all this, but how? Well, I have to say that as I thought about it, I realized that what Nietzsche, the philosopher, said about the abyss also holds good about the future. I think the secret is that Singapore deeply looked into the future and the future looked back right into Singapore. What I mean is that the government of Singapore from 1965 when it became a republic right up till now has had a very, very clear vision of the future of this country, where it wanted this country to be. And with grim determination, single-handed objective determination has pursued that particular goal of making sure that vision of the future comes to fruition. That is something that perhaps all its emerging market neighbors need to learn. And I'm wondering whether China is actually going the same direction. What about India? What about Malaysia? that in later vlogs. But today I also wanted to mention a few highlights of this ecosystem that would be of interest to designers and innovators like all of you, like me. And so, what is extraordinary about Singapore as an ecosystem and particularly when I compare it with the other countries in Asia? One, it has an incredible flair to adopt technology in the most innovative way that best serves its own context. So whether it is the way that the taxi system is organized, which by the way would put the London and New York taxi systems to shame, or the broadband, the penetration of broadband, the speeds, the way that technology happened here, or even something as mundane as how the car toll system works. I have seen the most advanced system here at least eight years ago, much before I saw it in any of the other mature markets. Forget about other emerging markets. So this ecosystem has this incredible manner in which it finds technology, advanced technology, adapts it, makes it its own, makes it work for everybody in this country. Second, whatever system it designs, it designs to the very last detail. Every system is worked out so that every little detail is taken care of, which is not what you find in other Asian ecosystems. As a result, the population has very little to worry and at the same time the expectations of any design of any innovation is that all of them will also be worked out to a very last detail. So 
third, this ecosystem is very safe. Safety is a prime value. That the core value that this ecosystem really treasures. So if you're going to design anything for this ecosystem, be sure that you are dealing with a safety issue, whether it's a product or it's an environment. I mean, in this country, as a woman, I don't feel any degree of nervousness in walking alone at 2 a.m. It's perfectly safe. And interestingly, I don't see any policemen around. I haven't seen a policeman, I don't know, in ages. And I've come to Singapore, I don't know how many times. So these are very important aspects of the ecosystem. And at the same time, there are some similarities with the rest of Asia. So it's not that, you know, it's somehow a freak entity that's not really Asia. It is. It's very collectivist, like most of Asia. It's about group orientation, about sharing, about family bonds, exactly like the rest of Asia. People don't really want to stand out and make a statement. They don't want to be individualists, as you would see in several Western cultures. Also, this ecosystem does not like to take risks. Again, very much an attribute that you find in most Asian countries. The degrees differ, but most Asian countries are not very risk-taking. So the, these are similarities that you find that link Singapore very tightly with Asia. And yet, it's different. And I think it is just its strength in envisioning the future that makes it so much more ahead of the rest of Asia. So that's it for this time. Bye from Singapore.